So this question says, if each side of a larger square is three times as long as each side of a smaller square. So let's stop right there. The strategy that I'm going to use for this is called plug-in picture. Right? So this strategy is useful any time a question is describing something that can be drawn. So I'm going to say here's my small square. And in fact, I'm going to just make up some numbers right now. Let's just say each of these sides is equal to 1. So then my large square, based upon that description that I just read, each side would be equal to 3. Right? Each side of a larger square is 3 times as long as each side of the smaller square. How does the perimeter of the larger square compare to that of the smaller square? Well, the perimeter here would just be equal to 4. Right? We just add up all of these 1s. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. We get 4. Whereas a perimeter here would be 12, right? We just add up all these guys or even say multiply 3 times 4. There's 4 sides. So the perimeter here would be 12. So what's the relationship between the perimeter of the small square and the large square? Well, the large square has a perimeter that's 3 times larger, right? In essence, the sides are 3 times lo large, longer and the perimeter is also 3 times longer. So the question, or answer choice A says it is three times as long. Absolutely correct, right? There isn't any other answer worth even looking at, although I, you know, just out of habit, always glance just to make sure. But yeah, it is not six times as long. It is not nine times as long. It is not 12 times as long. It is definitely three times as long. So the answer here is choice A. Um, and let me just throw this in as well. So we use this plug in your own number strategy a little bit as well when I decided to make up numbers for the lengths of the small square.